All right, tubers. Uh, we're back up here at the uh, back up here at the camp. I got uh, got a little bit more progress made the other day on my on the front. You can see I'm slowly but surely boxing in the front. Uh, need to do more work on the sides. Then put my foliage all over it or whatever I'm gonna do. I made up my mind. Uh, but anyway, I rolled in today. I brought a bucket. Um, and a lid I got a whole whole sack of corn there and a mineral block and um, I haven't seen of course I haven't been up here to to take any video of early morning when I've most always seen the deer come through here but when I put a pile of corn out and I put that block out I'll be able to see if they've been up here looking on a block or or come to eat corn I need to I definitely after all the racket and, and movement I've made up here I definitely need to entice them back up um, and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the corn out down on the trail and I'm just gonna sprinkle it along you know and uh, give them some incentive to come up through here I found another trail this trip this is fairly fairly new used to it was just you know the trail that ran along through there and on out that way and then this buck trail they ran back through this way and this is it's a fairly new one um, that I've seen here, so I'm not really sure where they're traveling. I haven't hunted this. Like I said, I took all the last year. I didn't do any hunt at all, so that's that trail there's been made in the last year, as far as I can tell. And uh, anyway, I need to get this uh, corn and stuff unloaded. I also brought a couple of traps. I got a small trap inside there, and then I got a larger trap. I'd like to maybe get a coon or a squirrel whatever you know a squirrel I brought that smaller trap for squirrels and the larger one for coons and I brought a little bit of dog food see if I get that coon to get you know get a coon in here get one trapped but uh, anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna start setting up his stuff and I'll I'll kind of do some video as I go along All right, tubers I got one trap out here for uh, squirrel and I'm just gonna put this corn back here Scatter just a little bit around the front and uh, hope, hopefully entice these little guys in here. I do want to weight it a little bit in the back so they can't just dig under here or move the trap around. And I've also got a camouflage it, so I've got a couple of a couple of sticks here that I can just kind of lay around and put some foliage over it. Um, Hopefully we'll get us a, a squirrel or, or something to eat. Uh, tough nut really, whether he knows it or not, he got me very interested in this whole survival thing. It, it's pretty fascinating. Just even if just to do it for uh, just the sake of knowledge of it, you know, it, it's kind of fun just to see if you can do it. So. Um, I'm going to keep disguising this one. I also want to put one out and try to get a, a raccoon or a larger a larger animal. And we'll see if we uh, have a kind of a... If we were in a survival situation and we had traps, this would be one way of getting food. So, Tough Nut, thank you for the inspiration, man. Uh, now I need to get some old leaves and start... piling all over this so it doesn't look too too obvious that it's a trap for said squirrel after I get this uh, after I get this camouflaged I'll I'll kick the camera back on guys hey guys well there's our uh, there's our trap I think I've done uh, a good enough job you know camouflaging it hopefully I didn't really want to disturb the opening there too much at all to get my sand on it or anything. So um, let's go set another trap and this time we're going to use the dog food. Uh, from what I understand that coons really really like cat food, dog food, things like that. So we know they like people food because they get in our garbage cans and this and that and the other. But I think I'm going to try to sneak it in right over here and I want to tr check these traps every day I wouldn't want to trap an animal and leave it up here so 
and it is just right next to the camp so uh, um, it'll be right handy for me to check so anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set the other trap here okay guys uh, I chose this spot right here I'm not sure what's traveling under here but it looks like it's it's been worn down and I only have to camouflage the top and one side of this trap using uh, using this uh, log as, as one side. So I've got the dog food here. Let me get this trap set, and uh, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get it baited and camouflaged. There we go. Let's see. Brought some of these little, uh, I didn't have a whole lot of dog food, but my wife had bought these little dog treats. Um, I'm going to just throw these in the back there, and uh, Mr. Coon can so scatter it out a little bit here to where he can kind of get an idea of where to, need to run that to the back. I it, uh, set the trap a little too early, I suppose wasn't thinking. These are real easy to set anyway. No problem. Need to kind of level that up a little bit. Okay, now leaves. Okay, guys, I got it. Uh, Got it camouflage pretty good there. I think that uh, that'd make uh, Mr. Raccoon feel a lot more comfortable by going in there. Just wanted to show you a little tip. Um, while I was here, see this area right here beside this log and the way that those, the color of that rotted log and the leaves up against it. When I was clearing that out, you know, gathering leaves, I took a stick and I brushed them back like that. Well, most of the time, if you're out stomping around, a copperhead's gonna make make for it. You know, he's, he's gonna make a break for it and get away. But, because of that color, that's a perfect place for a copperhead to lay. I didn't wanna reach my hand in around all of this and start pulling leaves out just in case he didn't skedaddle. That'd be a real good way for me to get a venomous snake bite, so. Just a little tip, that's how it is. Uh, I'm sure you uh, guys in Tennessee, what Georgia, uh, even Florida could understand. In the Carolinas, that's, uh, that's Copperhead. That's Copperhead's home right there. That's where they like to uh, they lay. They camouflage in very well. So we'll let these traps go. It's time for me to get my uh, uh, camo top on and sit still. If I sit still here for about half hour, an hour, I might see, uh, saw a squirrel yesterday actually, down there, couldn't get a clean shot on it, so I didn't shoot at the, at the little fella, but uh, I'm going to sit down and get quiet, and uh, here in about 30 minutes to an hour, if I stay real still, we might have a, uh, we might have a bag of squirrel or something. Alright tubers, uh, I got my camo top on, this is a really, really light, breathable material. Uh, actually my father-in-law you've heard me talk about him he uh, he gave this to me um, underneath I got this big white flag on so I had to had to suit up a little bit um, I told you I was gonna get quiet so it's time to do that I gotta get quiet and just sit still and take it all in so uh, hopefully we'll get a squirrel